okay so in the last video we had uh, shown how to we set up the chainway c72 for scanning rfid tags um, so once you have set up the device so then you can start scanning these using asset and freddy so we'll cover this uh, in this video i'll just open my camera i'll show you that i have these four tags in front of me right so and then this is the device that we are using so i'm recording the video on the same device so what I have done, I have used this tag, I have um, added this number already in my asset list. So this should scan this particular asset and this will give me the details of that asset in the app. So let us uh, just ensure that we have these numbers over here. So if you remember the number, the number is C2000474, this one. So now this this RFID tag is present and I haven't added the other three just to show that how the app will behave if you don't have the RFID tags added in the system and uh, you are still scanning them okay so I'll just go to the home now over here uh, you can see the search lens icon over here so if I open this this opens the search asset codes pop-up now the power of the handle is set to one so I have to scan these really close Right, so now you can see it has scanned all the four and uh, these are the numbers which uh, were scanned and the tag which we have added is present over here so now over here uh, you might sometimes encode the RFID tags with the hex numbers that means that you might have alphanumeric numbers and you will convert them to hexadecimal numbers and then encode those tags so if you're doing that you can always uh, check this and then click on done otherwise if these are the exact numbers which are your asset codes then uh, without checking this you can click on done so we have scanned four and uh, now this finds the one asset and it shows a message that the invalid code was scanned so now the device knows that out of four some were invalid and it will show me that one this one asset has been scanned in in those four tags so now this is how the scanning works on the asset list and if you have multiple tags so all those tags will come up over here and these all will be selected so right now i have one row selected then other, uh, otherwise i'll have uh, two three so depending on how many i have scanned i'll have those uh, assets present over here and then i can just update the details i can do anything that i want over here so this is the use case on uh, the asset list the similar use case is on the pending audits so for example if you have created an audit so i have verified 11 i have unverified so this is just a dummy audit that i have created i can click on view and the entire asset list comes up over here so there are some um, assets which are present and then there are some might be which are with no action so now again you can open this and you can start scanning these and then once you click on done so i won't click on done because i don't have these assets in my audit right now so this will again select once it finds the rfid tags this will again select the state uh, the assets which it has found and then you can mark these as present from here right so this this is the use case